Everyone, can we hear Sora? Yes. Yep. Okay, cool. Why don't you go ahead, Sora, and show what you're doing. Okay, cool. So, uh, I'm going to just give a quick brief introduction about myself. So, I'm the co-founder of Trusty Reporter. Uh, we're an AI for business intelligence tool, and we've been using LangChain to build our entire stack. Now, being that being said, jumping to the perplexity clone. So this is like a quick demo of what the perplexity clone actually looks like. Uh, this is like with the front end and then the uh, API deployed with Alexa. So I'll just quickly show you guys like a quick demo of how it works, you know, what are the things that you can do with it. So for example, if I ask it to give me, give me a run of the major developments, open AI dev day, and I give it a minute, so it will basically go through the web, search everything, and be able to give me an answer. So it, it takes a bit longer than your regular perplexity, but I think, yeah, given we are trying to build this over and at minimum uh, server capacity, it does a pretty good job uh, there. So, yeah, so you will get real time API, fine tuning, uh, wrong cache with model distillation, and these are top six things that you basically got through. So that, that's a good demo. With the jumping on to how... And everyone, this code is available on amod.org. So you can run through this uh, in a repo. Go ahead, Sora. To the auto-lunching of XP, not now. See, this is like the basic setup here. So you can basically have, uh, you know, this is something which I will skip for now. You can go to the notebook. But here is where the main uh, crux of the matter lies, right? So the idea here is to basically start with a query generator, which is to basically say that uh, you give it a query, you then ask an element to basically uh, you know, give you four or five different versions of the same query. From there, you basically go to DuckDuckGo search, and you use DuckDuckGo search to basically search for results across all of those three to four queries. Now the power of this tool is that I'm not using uh, Tavoli or Surfer API here. I'm using the proper DuckDuckGo library to basically get results. And from there, I'm basically having a web scraper unit that then goes through each of those results and web pages, tries to generate summaries in context of the question that you ended up asking, and then finally uh, compiling the generated summaries into a final result and then giving you the final answer, right? So if I set this up, then this is the utils for uh, DuckDuckGo. This is like the DuckDuckGo library basically gives you this ASIN UDGS, which you suppose that you can just set up your... So yeah, the overall state, you have your search query class. This is where you end up generating a query. Then you have, you search for those queries in the next node, which is your search results node. This is a web scraper mode where you can end up going uh, through each of these pages and basically downloading them. Once you have the content from each of these pages, you simply, uh, you simply end up using the send function from Landgraph to basically generate them. So this is the generate summaries, which is which basically comes from continue to summary summarize mode. So you basically use the send function, which goes into the generate summary function, and then you basically have your final answer. So yeah, uh, this is what the graph looks like. Uh, also, I'm using the check pointer, like in-memory check pointer here, which basically does a very good job with just providing context. If I say I want to create a quick, you know, quick start guide for Lambda, you can then go ahead and just again just run this particular mode. I think there has been a particular change in the uh, in launching in the launching library because of which. You would now have to use import nest IO, uh, nest async IO to basically run this particular set. So I will make the same as well. Uh, yeah, and then you just have your output here, and you can basically end up feeling the result. So this gives you like a complete. So we are for a good start by it for that chain. So it was able to solve the you know completely get you started with that chain, and that is essentially what this does. Hope this was helpful. People are able to follow and the experiment was successful for you. Awesome. Uh, thank you, Sarah, and thanks everyone for working with us to deal with the remote, remote connections issues. I'll ask that for questions. Uh, we don't have a back microphone that's working well here. I can re re relay them. Uh, what questions do we have about Sorok's Flexity Clone project? Why? Why don't go over? Was it Tali or what was the other one? 
Yeah, so uh, Jackson's asking, you know, why did you choose DuckDuckGo over a tabulator or others? So, um, I think with tabulator or Surfer data, you only get 200 free requests and then you have to start going on a paid map. But with both the borders, you can basically use it for free as long as you do not get a, a limit. Uh, and if you're basically just getting the top three or four searches, uh, and basically, you know, using that first node where you're generating multiple multiple search queries and then getting two to three searches per search query, you're basically getting a total of ten search queries and you're still getting the same end of result. So you can do this basically for free as compared to even in production as compared to doing it uh, in for a service like that. And you also get the advantage of being getting the completely private. Uh, such a thing. So, yeah. Yes? If I remember correctly from one of our office hours discussions, I think Sir Robin does a comparison test on his version versus the stock real version. I want to echo back the question that Rob asked. So, so Rob mentioned that on one of our office hours, you had shown a side-by-side -side comparison of your Perplexity Notebook tool versus the Perplexity Out Outlook uh, uh, Perplexity commercial project. Uh, can you kind of summarize what your findings were for that? Sure. So, if we, this was, so, on the 4th of August, is when I did this comparison and the date is very specific because uh, the Olympics were basically going on at that time mm -hmm. and uh, I just wanted to uh, you know, get, just understand what were India's medical, uh, medical at that time and I searched it on the puppetry version of complexity, it gave me that India had zero results uh, zero medals in the Olympics at that point of time which was uh, incorrect India had like three medals at that point of time so uh, you know, and whereas when I ended up using the perplexity clone that I ended up building, uh, that will give you the correct result, which is uh, India had three medals. So the difference was essentially if I use the, the free version of perplexity, a lot of times it will hallucinate because I'm guessing it's not really searching to the web as deeply as you would want it to, which is again given that it is for free, it's probably not. Uh, using the server API of Tavoli for search and it's probably using like a free version of uh, something to do it. Uh, but yeah, if you if you use something like Tavoli and you are able to search through the webs or you know, get all of these web pages, you have a much better. Uh, but when you go to Perplexity Pro, I think the results are very comparable between perfect, the Perplexity clone that I just showed you versus what Perplexity so, thanks for sharing that. What is next in your exploration of these technologies? Like, you, you've learned how to build a internet search agent, you've shared that. It's in a repo, it's on AMA.org. AMA you can click down in the October meeting, there's a link to the notebook Excel so you can run through it. Uh, I think the one learning for us for this entire journey has been you cannot look at all of these tools in isolation. So, like, looking at just an angle and isolation and just one framework that is going to solve all your problems, combining it with existing software development knowledge and uh, you know, pairing land up and matching with it is a really powerful way of just building systems in a really fast, really quick, and you may be able to get a bit over it. And I think the biggest uh, you know, advantage that we feel is just being able to switch NLMs and switch nodes very easily and just uh, you know, chain them together and nest them together is super easy with land and land. So, yeah, that's that's very accurate. Cool, thank you so much, Sora. I appreciate your patience as we deal with getting our AV systems figured out and moving into this new home. And I appreciate each and every one of you for participating. I'll ask you if you have a microphone in your hand or you have a, a lap mic clipped on your clipped on your shirt. We can bring back to that back uh, the back back table there. And let me see, two two Wednesdays from now we're hanging out. I think it's skinny. So I'm going to go grab our beer to have a little hacky hour, hacking in the labs. And thank you so much for showing up and be part of the community. Thank you.